Hi there, Alec from Vacuum Spot here. I'm going to show you how to find the filters on your Vax Power 7 Pet and of course how to change them. Uh, the first one is on the rear. Okay, so you just this little red button here moves off to one side oh, and the filter quite handily just falls out. This one doesn't look bad, but I've just changed the motor so it's always going to need a new filter after a motor change. You'd change this one at least once a year. Okay, so the filters come in a kit um, and they are VCP7PTFLT for those taking notes at home. Alright, so there we go, new filter goes in. It's a pretty odd shape, so you're going to be able to figure out how that just sits in well, like that. That's him. The lid, the whole top canister comes off like that. And inside here, you'll notice. You've got a lock, unlock, we need to move it to unlock, and there's our filter. Now, this one, yeah, it doesn't look too bad, but honestly, I've just changed the motor, so I know that that filter isn't going to have been good, otherwise the motor wouldn't have burnt out. So, I would be changing this one because it's mainly uh, like a filthy material, probably every six months. Okay, so, back on, we find our lock, line this up. And then, with a bit of luck, it'll just lock back into place like so. There you go, that's it. Change your filters at least once a year, twice is better. If this is helpful for you, please hit like or subscribe to the channel. It's Alec from Vacuum Spot, giving you quick and easy tips.